I'm Alexandra Vitali with BuffaloBills.com, and right now I'm joined by Bills cornerback Leotis McKelvin. Leotis, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So obviously not the outcome that we all would have liked to see in the game against Houston, but let's highlight some of the good plays of the game yesterday, and one of them was your interception um, before halftime. Kind of recap that and what was going through your mind during that play. You know, um, they you know get they got into a you know tight tight line, alignment, you know, and it was kind of like twelve personnel. They mostly take their they shots and and that and that personnel. And you know, I just um just going through my head the plays that they they, they they give me the routes that they give me, and he actually came towards me and kind of steal me out, you know, and came back towards the post. You know, I was just um, doing what my um, my coach always told me, you know, when the um, receivers steal you out, don't don't know why not with them, just um stay straight, stay stay straight vertical. You know, um, and just and they threw the ball. I just went there and attacked at the highest point. And what was some of the things that you're going to take away from this game? It's always hard to kind of see the positives after a loss, but what would you say you took away from that game? Turnovers. You know, turnovers, and we start to run. You know, um, did pretty good on third downs. We do. We could get get off third, on third downs um, a little bit more. You know, what I'm saying help our offense out. You know, and, and we get more turnovers. You know, we got three turnovers, and we could also get we could, we could get some more. You know, and that's that's the best thing that we took we could take out this from this game. Do you think this Bills team is playing the same way it was playing against the Bears in Miami, or do you see a difference out of the last two games? Would you say? You know, we um, we just got to um, make, when we make our plays or get our turnovers, we got to um make sure we get points out of points out of them or. Do things like we need what we need to do for us, like field position for the special team. Make sure we have a great field position for um, for the offense and things like that, for they can make plays. Now, talking about you and Kelvin Johnson coming up here with Det Detroit later in the week, you guys have some history. Tell us a little bit about it. You know, it started out when we was in 11th grade. You know, the, um, his high school came down to Wake Cross um, to play us in the play us in the playoffs game. We ended up putting them out, beating them pretty bad. You know. Um, End up, end up playing him in college again. You know, um, he played at Georgia Tech, and I played at Troy. We end up going over there, visiting him, playing, playing him there, and just played him, playing him in the league. Just, just been seeing him everywhere I go. <laughs> so, what are you planning on doing as far as shutting him down against Detroit? And it's all about trying to, um, trying to slow him down. You know, he, he's a big guy, physical guy. You know, you just got to try to slow him down, try to make other guys on their team make plays. And, you know, you got to make sure we. we Make those plays when they, they they go to the other guys and things like that. You make sure we go get out the field and things like that, and just, just try to get us a win. Back to back road games. Talk about that a little bit and what the challenges are. You know, it's always good to try to go on go on the road and get a win. It's it's very hard, very tough to um, win on the road. So we got to make sure we just go, make sure we do do what we need to do uh, this week uh, uh, coming for practice, and make sure we just go out there and, and have fun. All right, Leotis McKelvin, Bills cornerback, thank you so much, and good luck against Detroit. All right, thank you.